hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add dynamic data i mean how to print dynamic data in email template using jinja template and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a simple email template in odoo version 14 please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the weblands under the weblands you can see the playlist you can see odoo development label is here you can see different apps of playlist available with different topic wise with real test cases if you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page you can send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow the github repository we also have a different social media pages make sure to follow to get the latest notification if you support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can print dynamic email uh, dynamic data in email template especially in odoo version 14 i already explained like the latest version 16 already launched last week right so why we are trying to use odoo version 14 right so there is only one reason the jinja template right so in our latest version this jinja template replaced by the qr template so yeah this is the main difference so that's the reason i'm trying to cover this part also so there are many many clients also using odoo version 14 so in case in future you have to walk around version 14 so at least you can understand the jinja template especially to create email templates all right so here how you can add or let's say the print dynamic data in email template using jinja template all right this is the main focus in this discussion so for that you can see here we already created a new uh, module which is wb email template right and here we already created a new email template okay now uh, let's say you want to add dynamic data right so for that one you have to remember one thing the record set should be uh, any models record set should be you can access via the object all right so this is the object so this object is the record set of the specific model and this model like if you want to know from this code what is the model of this object so simple you can see here model underscore id right so in this model you can see student school underscore student so this is basically a student record set here and directly you can access via this object and now let's say you want to print some dynamic data right in the jinja template so for that you can also add here dynamic data in the body part as well as on some of the fields here right so for that like let me add one more table tr let's say th and here i will try to print object dot hobby and let me verify this hobby as a field name you can see this hobby underscore list all right so here if you add like this it doesn't mean it will print this code so for that let me understood one by one everything i will try to upgrade this module all right sorry if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm like this i already explained please check editor level playlist and i will try to upgrade the module now i will try to visit the email template in settings in technical in the template right 
email template and here you can see this is our first email template and here you can see in a bold color object dot hobby underscore list let me preview so still you can see in this profile the school profile uh, sorry the student profile still it's print as a object dot hobby underscore list but it's not actually print hobby underscore list right so for that there is a one signature here to print the any type of dynamic data from the database so for that you can use the dollar sign and curly braces in in this curly braces you have to pass your code the dynamic code i mean like object dot then after your field name or let's say you can also call the method okay so let's say this object dot hobby underscore list and before curly braces you have to also add the dollar sign using this jinja template you can print the dynamic data so let me one more time to upgrade this module all right I will try to refresh the page and let me also open a uh, student profile to verify the data okay so let's say we don't have any hobby list at the moment here so you can see hobby list is empty at the moment right so that's the reason it's display like this now i will do one thing now i will try to refresh this page also to display here the hobby list roll number is one let's say uh, let me add the let's say meditation right and you can see id is two right here now uh, for which student you can see this Oops. so for the sunny student now i will try to preview you can see here it will display the record set not the name right so for that you have to access also one more step ahead dot name so it will display here only the hobby name in case it's available otherwise it it won't be display anything so I will try to close this one and preview. You can see it's display as a false at the moment. Why? Because the Ramu don't have any uh, hobby. But let me change the sunny. You can see meditation one two three four. You can see this name display here in a bold so like this way you can add dynamic data using dollar curly bracket under this curly bracket you have to access object after then dot and your field name or method name all right so like this way you can access the dynamic value so using this way you can add dynamic value and it automatically print in the email template i hope you understood this basic print statement in ninja template okay if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session